Marco D'Amico, January 1, 1936, April 22, 2020, was a Chicago mobster and consigliere of the Chicago Outfit Crime Organization. He admitted his role in the Chicago Outfit in federal court in 1995. Chicago Outfit career D. Amico was arrested for gambling in 1958 and 1968 and also for being a patron in an illegal card game in 1976. He also was involved in a fight at the corner of Oak Street and Rush Street, in Chicago, in 1978. He is related by marriage to Robert, Bobby the Boxer Abinelli, who is a made man in the Chicago Outfit. D'Amico has been arrested twice for dice, once in 1983 and another time in 1989. In the 1983 DUI, D'Amico was charged with aggravated battery in Palatine, Illinois for biting off a police officer's finger during the DUI stop. However, the charges were dropped. For years, however, D'Amico was believed by organized crime watchers to be the Chicago Outfit's top sports gambling figure and he was frequently spotted at funerals for top mob figures. On May 20, 1992, D'Amico was brought before a federal grand jury in Chicago after the bombing of a BMW sports car outside the home in Chicago's West Rogers Park neighborhood of Sharon Patrick, the estranged daughter of turncoat mobster Leonard Patrick, who was set to testify for the prosecution against his old boss, mob fixer Gus Alex. Indictment conviction and imprisonment on November 18, 1994, with a five-year statute of limitations set to expire, D. Amico was indicted on charges of conspiring to commit robbery, operating sports bookmaking and poker businesses, using extortion to collect gambling debts and juice loans, and conspiring to commit racketeering. Also indicted were Richard Lantini, who was D. Amico's top aide and Robert Abenanti, a truck driver for Chicago's Streets and Sanitation Department who is related to D'Amico by marriage. D'Amico, who was ordered held without bond, was accused of running an illegal sports bookmaking business from 1978 until 1992, operating an illegal poker business from 1980 until 1991, attempting extortion against corrupt former attorney Robert Cooley, who is cooperating with authorities and posing as a bookmaker, making juice, or excessively high, loans at rates of 2% a week, extorting street taxes from independent illegal bookmakers, and conspiring to rob a moving, high-stakes poker game near Lake Geneva. Wisconsin in late 1989. After being confronted with incriminating taped evidence and the cooperation of Cooley, D. Amico on May 1, 1995, pleaded guilty to a conspiracy to rob what he had been told was a high stakes card game in Lake Geneva in 1989, in which the take could have been as much as $1 million, running a sports book making business and a high stakes poker game of his own for years using extortion to collect gambling debts and juice loans, and extorting $1.000 a month payoffs from former Chicago police officer Robert Cooley so Cooley could operate a poker game in a Chicago social club without mob interference. On October 3, 1995, United States District Judge Blanche M. Manning sentenced T. Amico to 12 years and 3 months in prison. During his sentencing hearing, D'Amico initially had demanded that the government prove that he was a ranking member of organized crime. However, federal prosecutors had been set to call as many as eight witnesses, including several former mob insiders, to testify that D'Amico was second in command in the Chicago Outfit's Elmwood Park Street crew under John DeFranzo. Instead, D'Amico abruptly backed off demands that the government prove that he was a made member of the Chicago Outfit, and signed a stipulation acknowledging his leading role with the Elmwood Park Street crew and its link to the mob. By signing this stipulation D'Amico had admitted to his crimes and received a reduced sentence. D'Amico was released from federal prison on July 21, 2005. Later life D'Amico lived for many years in South Barrington, Illinois. In the 1990s, 
He moved to Naperville, Illinois, where he lived with his daughter and son-in-law until he went to federal prison. Upon his release from federal prison, D'Amico moved to Westchester, Illinois, where he resided with his wife. D'Amico was married to his wife Patricia for over 50 years and has four children. D'Amico's cousin, a former Chicago police officer Roland Ricky Barelli, was part of D'Amico's gambling operation and was convicted in 1995 and sentenced to 10 months in federal prison. D'Amico died on April 22, 2020. References Cooley, Robert, with Levin, Hillel, When Corruption Was King, How I Helped the Mob Rule Chicago, Then Brought the Outfit Down, New York, Carolyn Groff Publishers, 2004, ISBN 0-7867-1583-9.